yes i had to speak Igbo. i had to learn the dialogue because I did not speak Igbo throughout the film, I spoke it in certain scenes, you know, that the script depicted or the, the script demanded of me. Um, yes, I, um, I ran away from the role. I, in fact, I rejected it. I outrightly told them what I don't think I can do well, I would rather not get into. Um, but for some funny reason, the director, the team, the producer, they... <sighs> They imposed it on me, they forced it on me, they kept telling me, yes, it's you, it's you. Step out of your comfort zone, do this, do something different, wow people. So I, I think in the last minute I just decided, yes, why not? If that had been Spanish, I probably would not have thought twice before learning to speak it for a role. If it had been French, I would not have seen it as, as something so, so out of place to do. So why on earth not Igbo? which is closer to me in culture. I'm a Nigerian. So I decided to, uh, I took on, I, I decided to take the role. I um, engaged the services of, of a few friends who are very, very fluent in the Igbo language. And then someone in particular who works for an Igbo channel. You know, he took me through it one by one. I recorded it on my phone. I, you know, from the pleasantries to the actual dialogue itself. I went through it over and over and over again. Um, some nuances and when it was time to shoot it, it was particularly difficult because um, it was a very emotional scene um, where I had to really break down. And then further, I mean, it's hard enough for any actor to tell you to shed a tear right on cue to get into the emotions. And then now having to manage that with the mastery and the understanding and the conveying of emotions using a language that I wasn't too familiar with so it was like double work but I was able to pull it off the director was happy other members of cast were also very very proud and um, hey I'm happy I, I, I took that challenge